Hi everyone, Foxy here, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel and today here we go for a new kind of video that I've never done on this channel. We're gonna try the new Raider map. He effectively uploaded a new Fortnite map for the train and the goal is gonna be today to give you my opinion. I tried it before the video, I'm gonna retry it during the video and I'm going to tell you what do I think about it, is it worth to play it, is it a good training, is it better than the old ones, etc. If you like that kind of content, don't hesitate to like the video and to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And having said that, here we go. Okay, so here we are on the map, I'll just write to you the... Okay, so here we are on the map, the code will pop at the screen somewhere, I don't know. And we're gonna try some drills, and I'm gonna show you which I think are interesting and which do I think are not. So there is some different things on the map. There is the free build, variety and others. So the Ed Tower, AI bot free build, bot else. Box fight training and every of these uh, different drills. Session challenges that's just some challenge when you play uh, every session and it's gonna be ticked uh, after playing, so 10 minutes, 50 bots, 100, 200, etc. The edit crosser that's something that which is pretty good, I'm gonna let it by default. And if we do play, we have 10 seconds which one we need to edit while we are moving. So here we see we need to edit only above to reset and to re-edit newly. There we have this kind of edit. And this is not that hard, but that's something that we really need to train out. I'll just show you first the kind of edits you can have. And then if we go back, you can disable some kind of edits. And then if we go here, we will only have this kind of edit. And we can allow and disable everything. Six edits, six again, and goes like that four squares etc and this is something which is really cool and not a lot of people train it but it's really 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 useful during the games to be able whatever the angle to edit quite could the wall then we have variety and others so we have AI bots Fribble, this is an example. We have some bots which are coming and we are in the free build condition we need just to put an emote to reset the build and the goal is just to do some kill, some kills and we know a one pump just kills every bot. Nothing more interesting but that. And then we have the infinite tower which is just editing like this and this is an infinite tower and some flow which are really uh, stacked. It looks like I'm almost not going down, but <laughs> I already get out uh, really fast. But this is an exercise which is not at all interesting because you will never have that kind of exercise in real games. Then we have the peace control tunnels. So build replace and targets. So if we go and check like this, we just need to replace the builds and continue the uh, the course and then we're gonna go at the end and it starts back so there is six different courses and then with the target it's exactly the same but you have a target to shoot and it starts again again and that's almost infinite and then I come back here Kill it. I guess the place of the little bubble there is fully random. 
and then I come back there. And there is also six different drills, and the number disappear when you already did this part of the map. Then we have another replace the wall. Replace the wall are not the most interesting for me. Then we have number four. And finally the number uh, six for the drills with the targets. Which is... I'm not really sure that's the most interesting one, to be honest. Because you will probably rarely be in that kind of condition or you do the edits like that you're trying to piss the guy and then you go below uh, pre-firing what he's doing but I'm not really sure that's the best uh, thing to try in. that can be cool but I'm not sure that's the most interesting and I guess there is other things uh, a bit better to try it out then we go back here after trying all the piss tunnels we have the box fine training and this is really interesting high low ground this is gonna be I'm gonna show you 1v2 here and there is differences between here we have the art and here we have the low What's interesting with the box fight 20 is like here you can choose or 150 HP or 200. It is only your shield. So here you have 200 shield and you can choose flat tree out of tree or high and low ground how I showed you previously. So if we check flat tree and tree, 1v2 for example, we have 200 HP in the zone of tree tree on well, the tree and the goal is just a 1v2 and when you crack shell you just need to think in your mind that you will be dead okay if we go back we put 150 1v2 this is still back for the moment my HPs are 200 and here I would correct for the game I will be correct and then I have to fight like I was 100 HP only and you've the information when you get cracked you will be dead in real conditions <laughs> then if we go back there is still two parts we didn't talk about it's the peace control and pick training and the free build, but about the free build, there is nothing really interesting. You can choose the movement speed, reset, change skin, and that's basically all there is. Yeah, there is an infinite build replace, but out of that, like that's absolutely everything there is. That's just a simple free build, and you can reset through the remote, which re which sets you again to the center of the map and you reset by shooting there and if we go check the infinite build replace we kill the bots and that instant replace Then go back to the center, peak and pace control edit. This is just off, so there is no damage and the goal is just to full pace control the bots and to kill it. Nothing really hard and it's basically like every pace control map. Then we have the normal damage. Damage after 200 ms in the line of sight. So if we check, when I'm exposed, I take the mage. I'm exposed, I took the mage. 
and I need to be really fast and not expose myself to him. He could see me, and the damage says actually if that was a player, it will put me some damage. Here I got not ticked. He, he could he could see me, so I took the mage. And then we also can go through damage after 150 ms in line of sight in hard mode and the difference is really huge. And then you have something at the beginning I didn't really want to talk about it because that's not really important the free play or the timer so for each uh, sessions you can have a timer for example here we have a little timer yeah I made the shit bug did you well we back to the lobby to make a little summary of this map Basically, I think this map is a really great training for you. Whatever the level you have, you can be a professional player, you can be an average player, you can be a beginner in the competition. This is, from every point, a really good map to train. Some aspects then you might not really train. Of course, you can't really allow you to make this map your only warm up. If you're interested, I made one other video about the best maps to train and to warm up before a competition. I put it in the description below. Well, I think I talk about everything. If you like that kind of content, you can like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And having said that, I wish you a good day and see you next week for the next video.